what is new about the all new Triple M because it sucks. Okay. And you must wonder why you bother sometimes. No, I know exactly why I bother. <clears throat> well, go on then. Because I get paid, and it, I get paid quite handsomely for it. That's that's why I bother, Paul, if you must. Yeah, well, know. you know, it's, it's up to you as a presenter to try and sort of, you know, direct uh, the content to keep people's attention, surely. What, what, what content would you like to see? Well, I don't know, it's your job, not mine. Exactly, and I'm doing my job perfectly by the fact that the content on the Sunday night show, you, you've obviously not got it, the content on the Sunday night show is, uh, the it's dicta- rubbish. But it's dictated by the callers. It's rubbish. Right, but why, why should there be content, Paul? Your show is rubbish. Okay, but try and, resp- try and respond to the question, why should there be content? That's an old, that's rather old-fashioned traditionalist view to have on radio, isn't it? Yeah, it's, you know, like, you just have to try and, like, you know, keep people's attention and stuff. I just thought I'd better bring it up and tell you. Okay. But, you th- but you've done, but, so, you've called in. Okay, but, well, yeah. I, d- you, I don't need you to tell me how bad the show is. I'm, uh, it's well, not, you know. You know how bad it is. It's not a particularly good one tonight, I'll be honest. The first uh, hour was fantastic, but uh, idiots like you calling up and, and offering no constructive criticism <laughs> well, isn't really doing anything. This is the longest phone call you've had, you've had so far. I'm not really up singing and, or, you know, yeah. doing any yeah. silly... Okay. But stuff. what would you... Paul, let, okay, let's... let's, let's yeah. find, what would you like <clears throat> to hear on a Sunday night, then? Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, some of your shows are really good, you know. Okay, and but what would you... Uh, but answer the question. What would you like to hear on a Sunday night? Um, <clears throat> I don't know, I was hoping for something a bit better than what I've been listening okay. to so far. I'm going to ask you a question, and uh, uh, hopefully you'll be able to answer it at some point. What would you like to hear on a Sunday night? Just think about those words and try and respond to the words I've just asked you. What would you like to hear on a Sunday night? But you kind of put me on the spot a bit, you know. Well, no, I'm not, because you phoned up to criticise, so I'm assuming that you'd have an alternative or some suggestions, because, well, you know, just to phone up and just to criticise is, is pointless and... Oh, well, I wasn't and, criticising, so. I was merely empathising. Well, no, you, you, what does empathise mean, Paul? <clears throat> it means I was empathising with the fact that your show was... was no. Nope. Was, ...was poor, and you, you know it Paul, is. Paul, what does empathise mean? I don't think you know what the word means. Yeah, it's, it, I, I'm empathising with you. But well, what does it mean, Paul? Define well, it, because yeah, like, you don't know what it means, do you? I don't think you know what it means. No, Why tell don't you me. Tell me what it means. Because you use the word, Paul. So you tell me what empathise means. Well, I, you know, I know what it means because I put it into a sentence. But well, you put it into you. a sentence where, it, in context, that makes no sense whatsoever. That's that's what makes me think you don't know what empathise means. Hey, there we go. There we go. Let's uh, hang on a second. How do we um, make it come up there? How do I get that to come up in one of those lines there? Do I just get rid of some of those? Yeah. Yeah, Paul, sorry, must have got cut off. So you got you... cut me off. No, I didn't. I didn't you at did. all. You cut me off. Well I, well, I didn't. You put the phone I've down. I've been on this show before, I know. Well, no, you... You, you cut me off. You, I, okay. Paul, if, okay. I, if I cut you off, I wouldn't have phoned you straight back, would I? Uh, are, are you uh, spoiling for a rumble? No, 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 not at all. I just want you to define empathise, because you've used it in a context that would imply you don't know what it means. So just just, just define it. No, uh, you know, I actually think that, you know, you're coming on the offensive here because you don't know what it means. No, I, I know what empathise means. You used it in a sentence, Paul, and I think if you're using words in an incorrect context, that would imply you don't know what they mean. So just just tell us what empathise means. Well, I, I'm looking for you to tell me what empathise means. But no, but you, but Paul, you used... OK, I'll play your game. Paul, I'm stupid. I don't know what empathise means. Could you explain it to me, please? No. Because you don't know what it means, do you? <laughs> Look, I you do. don't know what it means, Paul, do you? You've I used a word, you've a used a word, uh, well, but you've used it, so you, one would assume <laughs> you knows what it means, you know what it means. You don't, do you, Paul? Well, of course I know what it means. Well, go on, just, just tell me, because I'm stupid and I don't know, go on. Yeah, the fact that you've called me back, you know, just yeah. proves... Yeah, after you, know, you put the, the phone down. I rang up for today, Okay. Which is no. shows rubbish tonight. Paul, Paul, come on, please tell me what empathise means. Well, yeah, I'm not sure exactly of the uh, dictionary definition there. But okay, but what what does it mean to you? It means I'm merely empathising with <laughs> your situation. Paul, Paul that's not a definition. That's not a Paul, that's not a definition. By by just saying the, the word slowly, that that's not a definition. Well, it it kind of is. Well, no. Okay, Paul. Well, let's play this game. What what does definition mean? The definition is defining of something. <laughs> He's doing it again. He's doing it again. You're just saying the same word, Paul. D- I'll, t- uh, I'll tell you. Well, I'll tell you what I, definition I think is. I actually no. changed it around a little bit. Well, no, you, you didn't. I- I'll tell you what definition is. A definition is an explaining of what something is. Okay, that's what definition is. So, can you explain what empathise means? <sighs> yeah, I look. You know. It's, it's when you are 
empathising with someone. But Paul, you're just saying this. You can't define a word by saying the word. That's not. That's not explaining what a word means. That's just saying it. So can you try and tell me, because I'm stupid, what empathise means without putting the word empathise into a sentence? I'm not Johnny on the spot here. Well, no, you've used... Paul, you phoned up to criticise me, and you've used the word, and I'm not sure what that word means, because I'm stupid, and I was wondering if you could explain it to me, please, Paul. Why, why would I use it if, if I don't know how to... I, yeah, I don't know what it means. Them. I don't know what it means. So could you please, for me... Uh, explain what it means, Paul. Actually, you know what? I've just thought, you know, you know what I'd like to hear on your show tonight? I'd like to hear the definition of the word empathise from Paul in Greenwich. Well, let, let's, just, let's just put that to one side for a minute. OK. Because, you know, I'll come you, your original question. No, because you, you realise that you don't know what empathise means. So, OK, well, let's, I, I, let's... I do, but let's, let's deal with that. Well, let's, let's deal let's with it now, then, Paul. Put... No, no, Paul, let's deal with it now. Let's deal with one thing at a time. Let's focus... Let's put it on the back Let's focus on one thing at a time, Paul. What does uh, the word empathise mean. Let's, let's, let's hear it from you, Paul, because I genuinely think you don't know what it means, and you're a little bit embarrassed that you've said a word, realised you've said it in completely the wrong context, in a context that shows you up to be nowhere near as intelligent as you think you are. You've read the word empathise, or heard it, and you thought, oh, that's a clever sounding word, I'm going to drop that into a sentence, but having no idea whatsoever what it means. And that's a dangerous thing, Paul. For you to be using words that you don't understand is a dangerous thing, because it means that your meaning, or the, the meaning you have in your head, is not being conveyed correctly. Is that, is that the best you can come up with? It's, I'm not trying to come up with anything. I'm just, I'm well, just you telling you, Paul. Something, aren't you? I'm just trying to tell you, Paul. It's very dangerous for you not to know what words mean. So, do you want to try and t tell us what empathise means? Well, I just, I just think that yeah, we should put that issue on the back burner. No, but I, I think it's or an important issue. I think it's an important issue. To, or move, or, or move, but move back to the, the, to the first point you ignored. Question. Okay, so remind everyone what the original question was, because I've forgotten. <laughs> what would I like to see on your show this evening? What, what, sorry, I missed or that. Your phone dropped something out. something around that. Your phone dropped out, Paul, I missed it. What did you say? Hello? Yeah, your signal dropped out, Hello? Paul, so just tell hey, us again. It. What are you doing? Are you trying to cut me off again? No, not at all. Your signal dropped out. I missed what you said. Can you remind me what the question was? Uh, oh, Paul, don't do the pretending you're losing your signal routine on us. Oh, he has! He's done that! He's done the... Hello? I can't... Uh, you're, you're breaking up. He actually did that! Even though you could still hear... Even though you could hear the traffic... Oh! He did that! Yep. Well done, Paul. Okay. So, can you remind us what the original question was? Something around what would I like to see or listen to on your show. Tonight? Okay, what would you what? Like the, uh, the question was, what would you what? like to hear on a Sunday night? So you're doing it again. No, I'm just giving you correcting you. The question was, uh, hello. What? We, oh, Paul, hello. we can Paul, we can hear yeah, the traffic in the there. background though. We can hear the traffic in your car, so we know your signal's not breaking up, mate. Oh, he's this bloke is terrible. I love it though. Oh, we got this is the whole night sorted out, isn't it? It's just spinning up this muppet. Um, I'll try now. He'll, he'll switch the phone off at some point. Oh, you've reached Paul. Unfortunately, I'm not in the office today. <laughs> I'm back at tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Which is um, uh, Wednesday. Uh, please contact the office on double eight five. Mm -mm. Speak sick. Any? Thank you. If you want to re-record your message, press 1 at any time. Go on, G-Man, speak to Paul. Uh, Paul, you don't know what empathise means, cos... cos you're, like, an idiot. Even I know what it means. What, it do, means what to, does it mean? Like, ca when you... when you're like, say you was going out here to catch a fish, and you caught the fish, and you felt a bit sorry for it, you empathised for the fish. Well, well, no, that's sympathise. Uh, you, you understood what the fish was feeling. That's empathise! G-Man has just defined empathy! I... Ah, Paul, you're an idiot. Well done! G-Man just defined empathy. Oh, he said it took him two goes, but he did it. Well done. And that's something that Paul couldn't do. I'm, uh, let's see if we can see if Paul's in a better signal area, shall we? Oh, no, I've called G-Man. Yeah, I, di I didn't mean to call you. What? Yeah. Uh, where's... Have I got Paul's nights? 
He then switched his phone off. Oh, no, he's back. OK. Yeah. Excellent, Paul. Sorry, I thought we lost you there for a second. Right. Yeah, no, it's, it's cool. Yeah, so, yeah, you want to dump me, that's fine. No, I, I didn't at all. So the question was... Oh, by the way, you know when you're pretending your signal's breaking up, we can, st- we can <laughs> still hear the traffic in the background, so that doesn't work. Anyway, yes. the question was, what would you like to hear on a Sunday night? Who's that, that, that American kid that you get on from time to time? I, I don't know. Well, that's not my fault, is it? Well, no, I, you, you, it is your fault. You need to explain a little bit better who you're talking about. What American kid? We used to ring up and stuff. Um, I don't know who you mean. A, bit, a little bit more specific? Well, that's all I can remember. So, it's quite funny. So you'd like to hear an American kid that used to ring up from time to time? Yeah. Okay. I can't think what his name was now. No, no, I'm sure you can't. Nor can I. I don't, know, I don't know who you're talking about. OK, so you, that's what you'd like to hear, is it? Yeah, it's got to be better than the, the stuff I've been listening to this evening. OK, Paul. You, you do <laughs> know, Paul, you do, yeah, yeah, you do know that there are other radio stations that you could listen to. Yes. Yes. You could do that, couldn't you, Paul? Yes. So, uh, I'll ask the question. Why don't you? And the answer because is... I'm listening to you. Right. But if you don't... Don't don't take this the wrong way as an insult or anything, but doesn't it seem a little bit stupid to listen to something that you don't like? Well, I'm just offering up some constructive criticism. Oh, and I appreciate in, in it, hope. Paul. I'm very grateful, in, Paul. In, in hope that, that no. you may turn it around. No, I won't at all. And I'm very grateful for it. Don't get me wrong. Please don't think I'm not grateful for it. But I'm just curious. It seems a little bit stupid... To listen to a show that you don't like. Well, I didn't say I didn't like it, did I? Well, you said it was rubbish. Well, tonight's show is... OK. Well, why don't... The Sunday night show is always like this. But what's new about it? This is the all-new one. I mean, surely, the, you know, yes. the old one was that bad, you had to, Paul. you know, rebrand it. Paul. What's, what's good about this one? You know, you, Paul. the new, new Triple M? I mean, well, we probably, we probably, anyway? Paul, we probably all do. Hey, get this. Get this. Go on. It's a joke. There's nothing new about it at all. There, I've removed the oh. curtain. You can see the wizard is in just a frail old man in glasses. Paul, oh, are you really rib. are you really that thick that you didn't realise that it hadn't changed at all? You must be the only person listening to this show who hadn't picked up on that, Paul. Well, now, like now, that. Paul, I'm feeling <laughs> empathy for you. Really? Yes, I am. Okay. And if you want to know what it means, there's a message on your answer phone. I'd have a listen to it. It's explained very, very well. Yes. Uh, so you can learn. You can learn a new word, which is which is great. But it's a joke, Paul. Okay. But I'm not laughing. Can't well, no, it's that it's funny, not that it? it's not that funny. No. 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 A bit like your show. Okay. Again, Paul, you, you, you're coming in with the insults, which is fine. I appreciate that. There's, there's constructive obvi- criticism. Well, no, that's that was that wasn't. No, it was. It was constructive criticism. No, it wasn't. It was. Uh, I really think you should read a dictionary. But, OK, the, again, the question has to be asked. Uh, you say you didn't like the old Triple M. You're saying you don't like this one. Then I why don't... like the old Triple M. You did just say it, Paul, actually. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You did. No, I didn't. You, you did just say the old Where, one... Wh- where's, where's your evidence? Well, the evidence is that you did just say you didn't think the old one was no, very no, good. You know, wind it back. Let's hear it. You know, you well, no, I, Paul, I, I, haven't got the, I haven't got the technology to do that, but everyone... Oh, oh, oh that, that's it, isn't it? Oh, that that would be it, wouldn't it? Oh, just excuses. More excuses. Yeah. No, everyone heard yes. you say it. So, yes. the thing is, why are you listening, Paul? Um, because I've literally got nothing better to do at this point. OK. Moment. Well, you could go and listen to James Whale on Talk Sport. I could. You could go and listen to whatever's on Radio 5. You could listen to Radio 4. It's probably a little bit cultured for you. You could listen to some pop music. There are lots of other things that you could listen to. And it just strikes me as, as odd, stupid and sad to sit and listen to something that you don't like. Do you see my point? Ah, oh, he's gone again. We'll, we'll try... Tell you what, let's do the ads, Alex, and then we'll, we'll, we'll try him one more time. The world of me- oh. Oh, I've dialed the wrong number. That's the... Uh, where, where did Paul's number go? Paul's there. So we're going to get rid of a couple of those lines. Try this one. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, Paul. Oh, not you again. Yeah. Um, so, the, I just... Do you not see that it's a little bit silly to listen to something you don't like? 
quite clearly, I must be the best thing on your radio. Oh, yo, this is a great, this is a great phone. Five times. This is a great phone call. I am loving it. And as a fan of speech radio, these are always my, these are always the moments I sit up in bed and go, oh, let's have a listen to this. Uh, The presenter talking to a Muppet who can't construct a conversation uh, or an argument and listens to something that he doesn't like. So let's try and find out why you do listen to it, Paul. Listen to what? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he really is that stupid. Listen to this show, Paul. Yes. Well, you know, I normally listen in the week. It's normally quite a good show. Right, but the Sunday night show is like this. Tonight just sucks, so I just, you know, as I said, constructive criticism. Okay. But But you're having trouble taking it. No, I'm not, not, not at all. I'm uh, grateful for it. it. I'm grateful for it. You need to wake up and smell the coffee. Okay, well, if we're going to spout John Gaunt cliches, Paul, then there's not really much... Oh, John Gaunt! Do. Oh, now there's a man. Now there is a okay. true radio presenter. Right. How many listeners have you got him? Well, no one near as many as Gaunt at all, no. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's got like a million. You've got like, what, ten? Well, he hasn't got a million, um, and he's on a national station, so Well, he yeah. claims... That he claim- well, you know, you're on DAB. You've right. still got the same reach, haven't you? Well, no, not at all. Really? They're a, they're a national station. Okay. Uh, and he hasn't got a million listeners, that's a lie. If you want to find his listeners, you can go to certain websites and, and look at the radar figures. They're certainly out there. But he definitely hasn't got a million listeners. Oh, he's, he's a great presenter, though, isn't he? Oh, he's brilliant. He does he a does cracking job. He people going. He gets a good conversation going. Oh, he does a cracking job. He does an absolutely cracking job. Yeah. Anyway, but also speaks cliches like wake up and smell the coffee, which, which, which means nothing. It's a meaningless phrase. But no, so, it isn't. Uh, what, what does it mean, then, Paul? Well, it just means, it means exactly that. Wake up and smell the coffee. I don't drink coffee. You know? Why would I have coffee burning in my house? You see, it means, it means nothing. It means nothing. Well, if you had a percolator next to your bed... If I had a what? Wake up. Yeah, one of those coffee makers. If I had... If, what, was, what was it called again? Percolator. A percolator. Okay, right, yeah. I don't yeah. know. But, Paul, again, you're using phrases and things in context that y- mean nothing, you know, which well, is, is highlighting... You don't know what it means. Well, I'm asking you... Again, you've used the phrase, wake up and smell the coffee. I'm asking you what it means. Well, it, exactly that. Wake up and smell the coffee. Well, it, does, it doesn't mean that, pretty, does it? It's pretty clear, isn't it? Well, it, it doesn't mean that because it's a metaphor. Yeah, even John Gaunt could understand yeah, that. Yeah, but it, it doesn't mean that, though, Paul. It's a metaphor. That's correct, and most metaphors don't bear close examination. Right. There's so, another one. So it doesn't mean wake up and smell the coffee. It doesn't mean that. It means you're living in cloud cuckoo land. Again, another, you're giving us another cliché. I don't understand... Um, can you say something that isn't a cliché and is an original thought? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> Is there anything else you want, you know, because yeah, I'm kind of getting a bit bored now. Right, OK. I just, I would really like you to answer the question that I've asked you. And which question was that? Uh, the one I've asked you quite a few times. I, I can remind you of it if you'd like. Yeah, please feel free okay. to do so. It's, it's the question, why do you listen to a show that you don't like? Well, you know, I only just switched you on. And, you know, quite frankly, it was very, very poor. And I just felt that, you know, as a fan of your other show, right. that it was, you know, I was duty-bound to call you up, mm-hmm. um, yeah, only to be repeatedly insulted. I've not insulted you at all. I'm just offering constructive criticism. Absolutely. Anything else you want to add to that? Yeah, you say you've only just t- tuned in. What, what time did you tune in? Well, about well, about five minutes before I picked up the phone. Okay. It was, you know, it was car crash radio, I had to tell you. So, well, five minutes before I picked up the phone, the news was on... So you would have heard about you would have heard about a minute of radio in that case. Well, yeah, uh, well, whatever you know. We, you know whatever. Family, me, man. Whatever. What, Paul? Listen. Thanks very much for calling. Thank you. Uh, and next time you call up, try and have a good argument. It's been it's been fun, this, isn't it? It's been it has been pleasant. It's certainly uh, well away the miles. It's been fun. But try and have a good argument, and try and use words that you understand. And try not to speak in clichés that are meaningless. Is, can you do that for me, Paul? Is there anything else you want to add to that? Um, no, that's it. Well, lovely. Thank you very much. Cheers, Thanks mate. Good evening. night. Bye-bye. What a nice fella. 870 90